Oprah Winfrey has spent the last several months denying any intentions of running for the presidency, this despite huge choruses of Americans shouting their support for a potential run. Earlier this year, after accepting the Cecil B. Demille Award, Winfrey gave a rousing speech which touched on race, corruption, and the Me Too movement. Her speech was so moving, there was talk that Winfrey was planning to run in 2020, which she continues to deny. But it appears just the possibility of facing her in an election has terrified President Donald Trump. After Winfrey moderated a discussion with Michigan voters for a segment on 60 Minutes, Trump unleashed his impotent fury via Twitter, saying that the segment was biased and that the facts were incorrect. During an interview with Ellen DeGeneres, Winfrey denied the president's allegations. Just watched a very insecure Oprah Winfrey who at one point I knew very well, interview a panel of people on 60 Minutes. The questions were biased and slanted, the facts incorrect. Hope Oprah runs so she can be exposed and defeated just like all of the others. Winfrey explained the great lengths that were taken by herself and 60 Minutes to make sure that the segment was, in fact, fair and balanced. Winfrey admitted that, after seeing Trump's tweet, she went back and re-watched the segment with the show's producers just to see if any of Trump's accusations could be justified. She told DeGeneres, when you do 60 Minutes 2 you sit in a room with at least seven other people who critique the piece before you air it, so they critique every word, and is this fair, you have this whole panel of people looking at whether it was fair. I was working very hard to do the opposite of what I was hate tweeted about, so it's okay. Dot if only President Trump had the presence of mind to take a critical look at his tweets before he sent them, we'd all be better off.